sunshine. I'm currently in Sydney, Nova Scotia, and I uh, came here actually last night, but I didn't get to film it last night because I was so tired. But I'm here now, and I'm so excited to film for you guys. So we're just gonna do a little vlog. Uh, today is actually a very productive day. I'm gonna go out for a nice walk, and then I'm gonna chill out, you know, chill out, you know, trying to make it exciting, huh, huh? Let's uh, show you the room. You know, show you what it's all about, you know, where the magic happens. No magic happens here. I have here uh, my beds, and I did say beds as in plural because uh, they have to remind me that I am alone, and this is the best way to do it by giving me two beds, not one, two. Uh, I'm okay with it, I've accepted it. And then uh, we have a nice uh, table here uh, that has no purpose, but if I do need to write something, I have a table to do that with. <laughs> Thank you. And then here I have um, my TV that is always on, no particular channel, I don't even know what channel is on, but I like to feel like there is something happening, some sort of activity, you know? And then we have the ironing table that I have never used in my life. I do not know how to iron, but it's okay. I still have more qualities to offer. And uh, finally, we have a very important room. I don't know about you guys, but to me, this is a very important room. It's actually one of the first rooms I check out when I come in. And this is the lavatories, the bathrooms, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty lit. It's pretty nice. I like it. Um, no dookies in the, in, the <laughs> in the toilet, thank God. Um, and then it's a nice uh, shower. Uh, not a shower, sorry, a bathtub. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. I, every time I come into a hotel, one of the first things I need to do is check out the bathroom. No particular reason, just check it out. Not sure why. Uh, I check out the toilet first to see if there's any leftover dookies. Hopefully not, because that's just disgusting. Um, if, if the water is yellow, then I get concerned a little bit. Um, I'll open the tap here, and I'll take my little cup, and I'll just put the water in like that, and just check the color, bro. Just check the color. You know, I've been to a lot of places where the water is like dutty and I just don't, I just don't want to get infected with anything. So yeah, first things first, check my water, make sure it's clear. Uh, check my toilet, make sure it's clean. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then I get to stand here all the time. I always do this and I admire the little bottles that they give us, like the shampoo and the lotions and stuff. And uh, here it's all Bath and Body Works. And um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm obsessed with Bath and Body Works. Like, there's never been a time where I walked in Bath and Body Works and walked out without anything in my hands. Like, literally, my bills are like ridiculous with them. Like, I always go in and I come out with like 60,000 things that I don't need. But it just smells so good. So, yeah, that's my bathroom. Another thing that I always feel the need that I have to do is jump on the bed when I come into my room. And that's the best way for me to find out if this bed is gonna be firm or soft. And I don't like it too firm and I don't like it too soft. So it's a good balance in between that I'm looking for, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, I usually do that. I didn't get to do it yesterday because it was one in the morning and I was tired and I didn't wanna film. Uh, but I definitely will make sure that I do it next time that I am in a different destination, checking out my bed. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna get ready and uh, we're gonna head out there and see how uh, everything is. Hey guys, so I'm walking and it's absolutely beautiful. Freezing, but beautiful. And I figured, I probably wasn't going to bump into anybody out on the streets, like it's ridiculous out here. But it's so beautiful, like look at this. I can't even, man. Uh, this is the kind of place where you come to just clear your mind and, um, you know, just be one with your thoughts. I'm really not good at this uh, self-filming and walking situation, but bear with me, I'll get there. So I'm thinking of visiting uh, old Sydney. Um, which is probably uh, on the other side, so I don't have to turn around. <laughs> um, it is actually one of the best places to be in the summertime. I actually really enjoy coming here and just sitting by the water. Like seriously, take this all in. It's amazing. And it kind of just makes up for the cold, like it's just so beautiful. Anyways, um, so yeah, we are just gonna head over there. I'm not sure if I could actually zoom into it, but there is, you see that big violin right there? Yeah, so that's actually one of the famous landmarks here in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Uh, we're gonna go walk to that right now and we'll 
pay it a little visit. So this here is just absolutely stunning and breathtaking. Uh, this city here is what I love about it is that it's so full of rich uh, culture and it's rich with so many historic scenes and sites and it's just phenomenal honestly like Sydney Nova Scotia is absolutely beautiful like I think it's definitely a must-see at least once in your lifetime it's super beautiful here's a sad story uh, the road is closed after I walked all of this bro I don't know if I can go around but like it is such a far walk so we're gonna admire it from back here guys this is the famous violin Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness yeah no it's okay it's all good I'm not gonna cry it's fine I even actually have to come back here in the summer and take another video for you guys during the summertime even though the winter is absolutely stunning regardless um, a little bit on the cold side but we're managing I know, it's super hard to walk in this like seriously dude I can't I can't even but yeah so anyways we're gonna walk back to our hotel now because that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be but I mean at least I got to see a few things I got to get close to the water which I truly appreciate uh, I love being next to the water it's one of the most beautiful feelings ever for me and uh, yeah so we're just gonna so I'm back in my room <laughs> I just walked in and how many of you guys remember coming in from elementary school and doing this to the heater? Like I came back and my socks were drenched, bro. And then I just decided to do this on the heater and it's working just fine. Like I need my socks, dude. I don't have that many socks with me. <laughs> but yeah. No. Seriously, guys. Um, another thing that I just noticed. <laughs> If you have curly hair, you will understand exactly what I mean when I say that you step outside for five freaking seconds in the snow, in the rain, whatever it is, any humidity, and then this happens. Like, look at this nonsense, dude. It's so dry and nasty. God, can't a girl just straighten her damn hair and love it? Can't I just love it? <sighs> Anyways, it's okay. This is why my hair is always up, by the way, because this happens. Like, look at this nonsense. Unreal, okay. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog that I posted up. If you'd like to see more of those, please do let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.